Hey YouTubers, this video is going to be a little bit different. This is a pasty review video where I'm going to compare two pasties, but we saw the most amazing northern lights that I've ever seen in my life, so I'm going to sprinkle that in too, and here we'll give you some music. All right, YouTubers, this is the $13 pasty that I told you about. And let's do full disclosure. I'm a really positive person, but I'm having a tough day today. I got grumpy. I might have started with the $13 pasty, but we were told these are really good. What? That's not what a pasty normally looks like. Huh? It's not that big. I've never seen one folded like they didn't care. That is... That is odd. It is not hot, but it's still warm and I think good enough to give it a taste test. I also have a veggie one that's mostly cheese, I think. Mm. It looks undercooked. The crust looks undercooked. It is. I'm going to let the voice take a bite. You first or me first? I'll say first. You could. That tastes really good. Yeah? The flavor's really good. I'm getting a heavy rutabaga flavor from that, and I love rutabaga. Oh, it's it it might be too much rutabaga. That's all I get. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's going. It's you going. Should, you should get a fork. All right, might need a fork. I think you might like it more than I do. Oh. I want to taste the crust where it's not soggy. Good luck. You want to pull a part of that off or something? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, it tastes good. Can I say this? You can say anything you want. It's a little greasy. Huh? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. No, like the, the filling. You got to eat some of the filling. The potatoes are undercooked. I mean, if I'm going to be picky. Sure. See. No Vinny. You, you know what it reminds it. me of? What? The big ugly bastard. No. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's undercooked. It is undercooked. Mm-hmm. You probably need to go for like another 15 minutes. Because I mean yeah. you look at how pale that is. It's yeah. it's it's not browned at all. So and you I think would... it's wrapped in aluminum basically, and I've had it wrapped paper. there for no. That, that has one. that has okay. nothing to do with this still being partially raw. Okay. This side is a little bit brown at least, but I think it the flavor of it I think is really good. It does have a lot of rutabaga flavor. It could use some pepper in my opinion. Uh, probably. You know we we like a lot of pepper in our pasties. So. Yeah. So this is when you come off 75 over the bridge, it's pretty much right there. It's Mackinac Pasty and Cookie Company. It's on US2, first exit after the bridge. Um, I think Lowry's is better. Do you agree or no? No. No, I don't. Okay. She's a youper. No. Uh, nope. It's disappointing that you paid that much yeah, to have it. Yeah, I won't pay that much for it. And yes. It, it's not worth it's, 13 it, bucks. It is greasy, so they're whatever See? kind of, whatever cut of meat they're using, it's a real fatty cut of meat. Mm -hmm. But I think greasy, a little greasy is better than dry. Sure. Um, well, you do. <laughs> there's a nice balance of the meat to the potato, potatoes and rutabaga. I'm catching an onion flavor. Oh, there's a lot of onion in it. But it needs a little more pepper. It's properly it salted. Yeah, it has got plenty it, of salt. It needs a Not little... Over, it's good salt, proper, like you said. It needs a little more um, cooking, and it needs a little more pepper. Yeah. And, yeah, like maybe 15 more minutes would have been good. And and maybe like half the price. Oh, the price is nuts. Because 13 bucks is outrageous. It was... Uh, what did I say it was? Almost... 12, 12.39. It's on that receipt up there. Okay. It came to 26.05. Mm -hmm. She gave me a nickel and I gave her a dollar tip. 
So I paid twenty seven dollars for two pasties. I don't know, I don't agree. Hmm. And maybe maybe yeah, it tastes good. I definitely I don't know if I can recommend it at that price. You know what I mean? Yeah. There is a lot of onion in there. Though. There's a lot of onion. And I like that. Right. Yeah, those potatoes are... A little under. A little undercooked. Not bad under, but a no, little under. No, but with the dough and the potatoes. Yeah. I've just never seen a pasty folded like that. That honestly seems like you well, don't... Well, that's kind of what I do, but I flip it over. So that you don't seemed... do that. I've seen you do them right. No, no. You usually I make them like that, and do I you? fold them over, and then I shape them to make them look oval from the top. But it all seems like that on the bottom. So I probably ate from the wrong side for their no, their intention. No, I don't think so. Okay. No, they just cooked it the opposite way of how I cook it. And the reason why I do that is I like to eat the crust, mm -hmm. and usually if you have just that heavy edge of crust you don't usually eat that because it's really dry but if you do it like this and you flip it over all that juice that comes out right it goes into this and because there's extra thickness it it firms up sure it's not soft like this was blowing through on the bottom okay so yeah. i i will end this with anybody can argue about which pasty is their favorite i think hands down gene k's pasty the shell the crust was probably the best I've ever had. I've had others Agreed. where the fillings are good. Mm -hmm. This this dough is not good. No. It's um, the filling is good. Mm -hmm. I think she likes it a little bit more than I do, but I like it. If you ask me if I would eat one again, I would say yes, if somebody had bought it for me. Because <laughs> I'm not paying $27 for two small pasties. They're not that big. I did this for you guys, so click a lot of likes and watch this video over and over. But I want to tell you something. As I end this one, what we're going to add to it next is so many youpers have told me to stop at Jack's and Manistique for the pasties there. And I'm told you can buy frozen ones or they have fresh ones made. They say when you go in the grocery, you go to the right and the pasties over there. We are finally stopping there tomorrow. And that's what I'm going to start talking about right now. All right, YouTubers, I lied to you. I bought two pasties there, didn't I? That's why I spent so much money. This is the cheesy vegetable one. It's supposed to be their take on a, a veggie pasty. Hold on. Is that one a little better cooked or no? No, I don't think it's much different. I'm going to cut it in half so we can look at the inside. I think they they promoted the cheese aspect. What? So I think it has a lot of cheese. Oh, that must have cream cheese in it. That's very white inside. Yeah. Hmm. Did you finish the other one? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Let's take a bite. Okay. I hope this battery doesn't die. Six percent. It's going to soon. Hmm. You get to go first again. It kind of tastes like, have you ever had a cheesy potato casserole? Yep. Uh, I was In Utah, they call them funeral potatoes. That's what I was thinking. That's what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. It tastes like that with crust. A hint of broccoli. I don't, but know, I don't, where the, broccoli, I don't know where the I, broccoli is. There's a tiny speck of something right there. But I, I feel like Oops. I taste broccoli. You paid seven dollars for that. I paid thirteen, twelve dollars for that. Hmm. The meat one's better. It kind of tastes like scalloped potatoes and ham without y the ham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very weird. It is weird. That's they mentioned cheesy a lot. So the basic end of this story, this whole thing is, um, this does not taste like a pasty, a veggie pasty. It tastes okay, but it's weird. It, uh, I didn't really like it. The other one, it tasted okay. The crust wasn't very good. Um, again, both of these were $12.30. $27 when I'm out of the store. I'm sorry, but I just, I got to give them a thumbs down. I really couldn't recommend this to people at that price. They're, if they were huge, <laughs> maybe. Like, 
You remember that old big ugly bastard? There's enough stuff in that that if anything's worth 12 bucks, maybe that one is. But yeah. again, I would say no. Sadly, I would not eat them again. So now we're going to see the one from Jack's. These lights were dancing in every direction we looked. All right, everybody, here is the Jax. Um, the voice got a little excited, and she then she was all Sorry. upset about herself, but Sorry, she's got guys. nothing to be upset about. They're a little brown because we just heated them up in the air fryer, and I think we just didn't realize they were getting that dark. Okay, but they, they're not burnt. They're fine. So this is a veggie one. That's the beef one. Do you want to try the veggie? Yeah. Yes. I think it does have cheese in it, right? It does. All right, Jax has about the best fresh food we've seen in the UP, and the pasties were five twenty-nine. I'm not gonna eat much. I'm gonna take a little bite. You first or me first? Go ahead. Uh, automatically better than the other one I had in this video. Definitely better than Mackinac City. Um, I like that. That's very good. But this cheese yeah. with the pasty. It's kind of a cheddar-y cheese. It, well, I think it said it was like processed American or something. But it just really gives it that cheesy potato casserole taste sure, to it. Sure. I don't know. It's not. I would rather just have one with plant-based meat. Uh-huh. But that's good. It's okay. It, it's definitely better. Mm-hmm. All right. The crust is good. Mm-hmm. Crust is very good. And as she said, we we had it heated it up in the air fryer, so it might have been the next day, but the taste test told me that Jack's was better to me. Okay, I'm gonna open this one. The shadows, it's late at night. This is the beef with rutabaggy. Look at you saying rutabaggy. That's how that's how youpers say rutabaga. Ooh. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh-huh. Well, let's see. Hold on a second. Well. GoPro, stop recording. I cut you off. You were about to say something. Do you remember what it is? It needs pepper. Yeah, you did say it needs pepper. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. This is beef, rutabaga, just basically traditional pasty. Hmm. Hmm. Will you please take a little bite of it? Yeah. I hate to do this to her. Let me just take a knife. Um, take a fork. Okay. The crust is pretty much the same. Yeah. We were. In, I was impressed huh. with Jack's. So it's a little bit dry. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's falling that's apart. Us. Hmm. Hi, Vinny. Hmm. Processing. Processing. It's dry. God, I hate to be such a pain. You are a pain. She's not a pain. I, uh, it's a running joke here that I tend to like things a little bit drier. I don't like soupy stuff, like under eggs, you know, just my texture thing is not, I don't like wet stuff, wet food. Okay. I think this is good. Okay. I think the filling on the Mackinac pasty I prefer the filling on the Mackinac pasty. Not even close for me. Really? I think this See is, how that's falling apart? I think this is much better than really? the Really? Yeah, I didn't mm. actually. This could use a little bit of pepper. Not a lot, but I like a lot of pepper. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know this... if I was just so mad at the Mackinac pasty for the price well, I that don't I couldn't blame get it, past you. it. I don't blame you. But I like this better. Okay. I think it's a much better pasty. I think the people that have been telling me to get a pasty here. Well. I don't think they're wrong. This <clears throat> is this is probably more like Gene K's. Well, that's funny Honestly. you say that. Because as I walked away, what do you think I was doing? You were going for the pa pasty sauce. I got the Gene K's pasty sauce. All right, I'm taking this and getting out of here now. All right. 
Bye. Now, I don't like pasty sauce on the veggie ones, but let's see what this does for this gene case. I would tell you to go get some gene case pasty sauce, but they're closed and you can't get any pasty sauce. And I'm going by one of the things that he said to me that felt so very true. That stuff will last forever in the refrigerator. Because <laughs> they've been closed a little while now. Mm. I like the veggie pasty one. It's good. I don't know if you heard that from in there. The voice said she likes the veggie pasty one. It's good. Um, I like both of them. I think they're both very good. Um... Uh, I know I have more places to go, but I put this up with Lowry's. I really would. I have not listened to some of you for a very long time. Hopefully, those of you that have keep telling me to try Jack's are watching this video and will hear me say thank you for excellent advice. I bet you I've driven by that place a hundred times. And now if I want a pasty, I will stop there. Awesome. That's a grocery store pasty that I give a thumbs up. Anything else in there, voice? No, I no. recommend it. She recommends, so that's two thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. Get out there when you travel and eat the locals food you can go to mcdonald's anytime you can go to applebee's you can go to all that junk stop doing that go to real places that cook food and sometimes that real place might actually be a grocery store all right again hope you enjoyed and have a great and wonderful day all right youtubers i'm back and i need to either do a public service announcement or an apology like I said, there have been people that kept telling me to try Jack's. And being honest, behind the scenes, I kind of laughed and like, yeah, I'm going to go get a grocery store pasty. I apologize. I was very wrong, and it was heartless and callous of me to say such a thing, or to even think such a thing. I always, I always half meant to honestly go try it, but the other half of me is like, how good can a grocery store pasty? These are good pasties. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I remembered off the top of my head the names of a handful of people that have kept telling me about these pasties. Thank you. Go back to your regular scheduled programming. <laughs>